Uh, first of all, I just wanted to thank uh, Kier and um, Stephen and Sue for inviting me to talk today and putting on the event. Uh, what I wanted to do was just talk a bit about, uh, we'll go back one, um, I just wanted to give a bit of an overview on BookTrack today so you know what it is and what we're about and then just explain how Kia has really helped our business and also this event. So first of all BookTrack, BookTrack's all about storytelling. Um, if you track the history of storytelling, in the last 100 years there's been an enormous impact on the way we've told stories throughout mankind and that's because of the advent of film. Started out with black and white, then we added sound, colour, now we're up to 3D, gaming's come along and who knows what's next. But the way we read, we've been reading for about 2,000 years and the way we read in 2,000 years has not changed. Distribution has changed enormously, so much so that I can carry an entire library around on my phone in my back pocket, but the way we read has not changed, it's just cha transferred from parchment to tablets. And that's led to a real problem um, around the world. We've done it, we're actually doing a great job of teaching people to read, but we're not keeping them reading. And, and these are some of the stats from New Zealand. You can see that your, your 12 to 24 old, olds are spending 10 minutes per day reading, but 140 minutes per day watching television. And in the United States and around the rest of the world, it's even worse where, um, interesting, I use this state in the United States a lot, and they think it's actually worse than that. When that's, you know, when 42% when of college graduates are not reading another book the rest of their life, we've got a real problem. And what we like to say is reading's lost its cool. And um, what people have done to address this is they've gone, when books went digital, they thought, well, hey, we could put amazing videos and games into books to get people back into reading. And with the exception of books like Annabelle's Cookbooks, which are very popular because that's teaching you how to do something, or for very, very young um, children who don't know how to read yet, this area has been popular. But outside of that, it's been, it's been a big, complete flop and publishers are starting to move away from it. And the reason is when you read, you don't want to watch a video and you don't want to play a game. You just want to read the book. And it's by taking you in and out of that experience, it's very, very disruptive. So book track is the only enhancement to reading that's delivered to you while you read. And here's a sh very short video that explains what it is. By blending inspired sound design with great stories, BookTrack creates a totally high-def, immersive reading experience. Ambient audio, sound effects, and music are carefully synchronized, celebrating the imagery of the author's text and drawing you deeper into the story. BookTrack's breakthrough technology can sense your reading speed and automatically adjusts pacing of the audio tracks to match. BookTrack, hear the future of reading. So that's our American propaganda video. And um, <laughs> so that's what BookTrack is. We're a synchronized soundtrack for a book. Our core technology is we learn the speed you're reading at, and then we have a dynamic soundtrack made up of ambient sounds, sound effects, and music that will then adapt and match to what you're reading when you're reading it. So very cinematic in scope. And the best way to understand what we're doing is we are changing reading the same way that sound has forever changed film since 1928. It brings emotion to what you're reading and adds a whole new experience. So to date, what we've done, well, we've raised a bunch of money from some well-known um, world-class New Zealanders like Sir Stephen Tyndall, um, Derek Hanley, uh, Peter Thiel, the co-founder of PayPal, and, um, and many others, including Sparkbox, uh, Park Road Investments, which is uh, Park Road Post Productions, which is Peter Jackson's sound studio. We've worked with the best-selling authors, including um, Salman Rushdie, all of the major publishing houses and music houses. Uh, we've won a number of awards. We've secured IP. We've had over 350 global articles from the from the major um, press places around the world. We've been a top 10 book app in 20 countries. Our app ratings are very high and we're a key Apple account. So, um, but what I wanted to talk about to you was probably the biggest lesson that we've learned along the way, and that is you need friends. And if you look at um, my brother and I who co-founded BookTrack, our backgrounds, um, I was in the Air Force, as you heard earlier, um, and he was a physiotherapist, um, ran a chain of them out of, um, out of Hong Kong. And we had a good friend, a guy by the name of Ross McConnell, who was actually the CEO of Kia prior to Sue. And, uh, and we went to him and said, hey, this is what we're doing. And Ross said, guys, don't take this the wrong way, but you've got to get some mates. And what he meant by that was you can't do it all on your own and you need to go and get some help. People alongside you, people will invest and believe in your vision. So that led to an introduction from Ross to Greg Sitters, who runs Sparkbox Investments, and they invested in our business. And then on the back of that, so did New Zealand VIF. But no one else in New Zealand could get our business. No matter who we talked to, we couldn't um, get any more investment. And it was around about the same time that Derek Hanley had sold the Hyper Factory. And um, my wife said to me, hey, do you know Derek? And I said, I didn't. She said, I think he'll really get what you do. You should reach out to him. So through some friends, I managed to get on a couple of calls with Derek, and he still didn't get what we are doing. So 
He ended up in New Zealand. I gate crashed one of his meetings and said, look, you've just got to try this. So I thrashed an iPad in his hand, put headphones on him and made him read it. And, and on the back of that, he really got it. He invested in the business, so did his brother, his father. But most importantly, he helped us shift to New York and he opened up his networks. And his networks were vast, not just New Zealanders overseas, but many, many, many people. And on the back of that, um, that led to investment from Peter Thiel and people like um, you know, Phil Veal, who's the chairman of Kia, and Pooj Prina in San Francisco, to help us open doors and do the things we needed to do. In 2010, Mark Darcy um, spoke at this event and was an, awarded, uh, an, an award as well. And I met with him and I told him what we're doing. I said, Mark, we're going to change the world. We're going to add soundtracks to books. And uh, he said, great, you should send me an email. And he never responded. Well, Derek knew Mark in New York. So he said, I can get you lunch with Mark Darcy. So at the time, he was the, um, the president of Times Warner Global Media Division. And so I sat down with Mark at lunch and he said, look, I took the lunch because Derek said I had to. Um, this sounds a bit crazy to me. I'm not really sure if um, I can help you at all. And I said, can you just give it a try? So again, he put the headphones on and 20 minutes later, he took the headphones off and this is what he said. He said, I didn't see the future of reading. I just heard it. Mark's now the global creative director of Facebook. He, on the back of that, he joined our board and he invested in our business and one of our biggest supporters today. And um, it's, what's really fascinated me is we've got a team in New York and they're very connected, know a lot of people. We've just built a team up in San Francisco. And whenever we can't reach someone, whether it's at HarperCollins or it's at Apple or Google or whoever, I say, just give me a couple of hours. And I reach out to the New Zealand network and within a few hours, we've got the meeting we need with the person we wanted to meet with. And so um, the term that they use around the office now is they call it the Kiwi Mafia. And so um, whenever we can't get to any anything or we need the right meeting, we reach out. Now, of course, we all call that the Kia network here, and I think that's what's so amazing about Kia and, um, and what Kia does, because that network has just made all the difference to our business in terms of the meetings we need, the deals we need to get done, and the investment from people all around the world. So what's next for us? Um, well, to date, we've brought a product to market. It's proven to be very popular, and we've got this out there. Um, the next stage, I think, was really um, summed up earlier very well by um, one of the speakers that said, you've, the future is all about personalised experiences. It's about letting people have access to what you've got and doing their own thing and creating their own sales channel for you. And that's what we're doing. So, so because at the moment, our, the team at Park Road Post Productions who do our sound in between working on The Hobbit and other things, and our tech team that's led by Craig Wilson, who's here today in New Zealand, they can only do so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up all of our tools to allow anyone to create a soundtrack for any text, be it a speech, a blog, a book, it doesn't matter. Because what we'll get on the back of that is this. We'll get a network effect. Let people customise their own experience, do their own thing, and then share and sell that to their friends. So we're, we're very, very excited about the future. Um, and, you know, but it doesn't have its challenges. And uh, you know, while I guess I've got a very, very supportive wife who, um, you know, we do a lot of travel um, around the world. Um, we've got a great team here locally. But you know, I think what's just absolutely critical to us is that Kiwi Mafia. It's the NZTEs, it's the Callaghan Innovations, it's the ATEDs, it's, um, it's all of those New Zealanders all around the world that have helped us because it's not easy doing what, you know, what, we all, what we're all doing, but I know that together we can take on the world from the other side of the world. Thanks.